Maybe you've seen one of these posture corrector things come up on your social media and like me, it got you thinking, do they actually work? Well, curiosity got the better of me, so I ordered one. With working from home so much recently, I was finding my posture was getting worse and worse over time. I was getting quite a bit of tension between my shoulder blades and often had to get my back cracked to relieve some of the tension, maybe because I was slumped over so much. I'd got myself into a bit of a bad habit and this thing told me that it was gonna help get me out of that bad habit. And I decided to buy this particular one. This is called a Posture Hero because I'd seen it on Strictly Come Dancing. And I wore it for several hours every day for three months. Here's how I got on. Before we start, here's a few details. This costs $39.98. There are cheaper ones, but I decided to go with the Strictly one because I liked the idea of the band that comes around the stomach. Other ones just come around the shoulders. The website tells me that it's gonna help stop me from stooping, train the body to adopt a better posture, even when not wearing it, reduce tension in the shoulders and upper back. It's endorsed by the London Spine Clinic, which was another reason that I bought this particular one and it has antimicrobial fabric. And you put it on like this, tighten it so there's a little pressure on the shoulders, but not too much, and away we go. The back bit has some flex so you can move around and be comfortable, and the side that touches the body is padded. It weighs 154 grams if you're into stuff like that, and it comes in two sizes. There's small, medium, and large, and I went for the small, medium, although I feel as though I could have gone a smaller size just because I have to do this bottom bit up really, really tight. And just for reference, I'm a UK size 10. And then this particular posture corrector was designed, got to read my notes, in conjunction with a spinal neurosurgeon at the London Spine Clinic on Harley Street. I think Harley Street's pretty fancy, by a guy called Mr. John Sutcliffe and I looked him up on the internet to make sure he was a real person, and he is, and he seems like a pretty big deal in the world of back health. Right, let's look at how I got on for three months wearing this. On the day of delivery, here's a picture of me without it on, and here's a picture of me with it on. Now I know these aren't the best pictures, but maybe you can see that my shoulders and arms are a bit further back when I'm wearing the posture corrector. I wore it for two to three hours each day at the start and it took a while for my body to get used to it. Yesterday I wore it for about two hours and at the end of the day my back was actually really achy and by the end of the day I did this with my neck and twisted and my back made the most almighty crack. Although it could be a little uncomfortable at times I did enjoy wearing it and my housemates liked it too. I could see an obvious difference in my housemate Katie from when she put it on and sat at the kitchen table to work. Has it helped, do you think? Yeah. Yeah, feels like someone's got a string in front of your tummy. Because if you like that. I like it. Oh, it's just a still like this every day. I also wore it when driving. Because usually when I drive, my shoulders get really achy and actually it feels really good when you drive. When wearing this, it's a gentle reminder not to slouch because it's actually quite difficult to slouch because when you do, this back bit, like it doesn't feel that comfortable and then this bit digs into the tummy a little bit. Without it, I just sit like I have been doing for years and years. And I also really like this band that comes around the middle because it just is a reminder for me to keep my core ever so slightly engaged throughout the day. After a couple of weeks of wearing this, it did start to rub a little. In here you can see where the material is like bunching together and making these little marks. It's not ever so sore, it just feels a bit annoying. After a couple of months of wearing this, I've got used to it and now it doesn't rub at all. And now I can wear it most of the day and not notice it. I do wear it over clothes though and you can see where the material around the underarm area has shaped to my body. And even when I'm not wearing this, then I'm more aware to have a better posture. I will admit, I think another reason that my posture is improving is that I've just invested in a standing desk and I really like using 
the posture corrector and also the standing desk in conjunction. I think that's a really great combination. From this before and after picture, you can see a clear difference in my shoulder position. My shoulders are further back and my arms are falling to the side of my body rather than in front. The stiffness at the front of my shoulders and in between my shoulder blades, by the end of the day, usually, I just felt so achy and that I just needed to move around so much in order to get rid of some of that pain, but that has reduced in the last few months since using this. And there are several opinions about whether these posture correctors are good or not, with some physical practitioners saying that they're no good. And it's really confusing, so I'm going to ask my mate Sam, he's an expert in fitness and human movement, to see what he says. So it's important to consider that being in certain positions will put more load through certain joints and muscles, but there is no such thing as perfect posture. Your best posture is your next posture. Problems tend to arise when people get stuck in certain positions, which in turn limits their movement options. So I'd suggest improving their movement options rather than going after this so-called perfect posture. And what do you think to these posture correctors? So I believe there's a time and place for almost any intervention out there, as long as it's used within the right context. Passive interventions like posture correctors often get a bad reputation as the results can be quite short-lived. But in my opinion, things like this can at least open a window of opportunity to create more lasting change, or help generate some awareness around the issue at hand. So passive interventions cause passive results. Active interventions cause active results. So just to let you know, by passive, Sam means not really doing much, for example, wearing a posture corrector. And then by active, it's by doing something such as exercises to strengthen the muscles that improve posture. Whereas passive plus active interventions can cause accelerated results. Thanks, Sam. You are so awesome. I have put a link to Sam's website in the video description. Exercises are a really powerful way to help correct posture. But at the same time, this is a really good start for some people and it's a nudge in the right direction to make an improvement. I'm thinking about making a video with Sam of some simple exercises that we can do throughout the day in order to improve our posture. So if you do want to see a video like that, then please put it in the comments box, just something like posture exercises video, please. My experience of wearing a posture corrector has been a really positive one. Since using this, it's made me aware of my posture. And even when I'm not wearing it, I'll make adjustments throughout the day to improve my body position. This may not be the best solution, but it is a solution, an opportunity to improve and become aware of our body position. I'll continue wearing this for a few hours each morning at my standing desk. It really helps set me up for the day. And I also really enjoy wearing it when driving as my shoulders don't ache as much. I'm even wearing it as I edit this video. And one thing that really gets me thinking, if they don't work, why do the Strictly dancers use them? I love Strictly. If you're thinking about buying one of these, then I really hope that you found this video useful. If you've got any questions, or if you wear one yourself and you want to share your experience, then I'd love to hear from you in the comments box. And also, if you've got any other suggestions on product reviews to do with health and fitness, then please let me know in the comments box as well. I've got lots more videos lined up over the next few months. I'm just in the process of learning the splits, which is super fun. So if you're into living a healthy and cheerful life, then consider hitting the subscribe button. Thanks very much for watching and see you at the next video. Mm -hmm.